Okay guys, this is my delayed Halloween vlog. Even though there's not that much Halloween stuff in here, I filmed this around Halloween, okay? So I go shopping in this vlog. Um, I do this like comedy, well, I don't do a comedy event. I go to like this comedy event at a hookah lounge. I also um, go shopping with a friend. I met him at the strip club, so, but like even though I met him at the strip club, I don't wanna cook, like call him a customer because he's more of my friend and you'll see like we are just at happy hour essentially at the mall drinking and shopping and it's so much fun and it was a good time so yeah shopping haul comedy hookah lounge halloween i just got my groceries delivered and i feel like i always get the most random like assortment of groceries because i always like to cook things that are easy but also that i'm obsessed with like i'll literally cook the same things for months because that's just like i don't know i think it's like an adhd thing i don't know anyway i got some chips tissues uh eggplant i really like to make eggplant with white rice cucumbers for a snack but also for this pasta salad i'm obsessed with this pasta salad i just discovered it like not too long ago which i know that's like a very common thing to eat but i used to hate pasta salad growing up so now that i like it i'm like oh my god i'm obsessed with that um i got this like um pf chang uh it's basically like sriracha and mayo put together but tell me why i can't find sriracha like anywhere like is it what what's going on can someone please answer me that also i got minute rice now i cook really good white white rice like on the pot like i don't even have a white uh, a rice cooker but i'm just kind of i'm just kind of tired of it i kind of just want to throw this in the microwave so don't judge me for being lazy but it's kind of like a step into eating at home more but making making it easier for me you know what i mean um some tomatoes for the pasta salad uh, a few apples because I like to eat them like before work so I'm like full but like not bloated also watermelon to eat as a snack tortillas I feel like I had more stuff well the other stuff I already put in the fridge so yeah also I got this um Clorox um toilet bowl toilet bowl. there's like a piece of lint uh toilet bowl cleaner this is the best thing to use for your bathtub I have a garden tub so like it's huge but after like self tanner, like washing the dogs, like giving the dogs a bath, like it could easily get dirty. So this is like my holy grail. This makes your bathtub so white and you just kind of just leave it in there. You don't even really have to scrub that hard. So yeah, right now I'm actually gonna tan and then I'll probably cut up some vegetables or whatever. I feel like my vlogs are getting really repetitive because I just kind of do the same shit all the time. But yeah, I just got this in the mail today. Uh, the B tan, yeah, I don't know. This just, it's fine. And honestly, if I'm orange, who's gonna stop me? I'll be at a strip club. I'm actually gonna pack and organize my dance bag since I haven't really danced in like over a week, probably two weeks. I honestly don't even wanna know. But uh, this is like to numb my feet because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be hurting. I mean, they hurt now and I haven't even done anything. You know what I mean? Um, so I have most of my outfits already in my locker, but like there's just a few bras and like things that I obviously bring home to wash and whatever. So I'm gonna put in one bag, like what I'm wearing tomorrow. Um, the stuff I bought, actually it was in my last vlog, <laughs> but I showed you guys like I bought this um, like maroon set. And basically this is just to like go with this that I got from Rue21 but this is what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. So I wanna just have it like separate, like already ready to go in this bag. That way when I get there, I don't have to shuffle through like other bags or my other outfits. Also, it keeps them clean. Uh, with like my shoes, I would always put my shoes like in a different bag as well, but those are already in my locker. So I don't have to worry about my shoes getting my outfits dirty. See, it'll be organized and I won't have to go through this. But this, everything is clean. I just really need to separate it. Like I have like bras in here, bottoms in here. And it's like, I just want to have one bag of bras, one bag bottoms, and like maybe some mis miscellaneous items, my bras and my underwear. And it's like super simple, okay? And also like, I know that our lockers are typically, like our lockers are bigger than other clubs. I know that, but like this stuff adds up. Like I go in with my purse, my dance bag, all these little thingies, it adds up, okay? So it's like, I try to keep it as organized as possible. Like I hate opening up my locker and I'm like, what is that, you know? 
if I don't cut up my vegetables now, then I'll literally never do it and I'll let them rot in my fridge. Like, come on, I know I'm, I know I'm not the only one. I don't mean to do it. It's just that I buy the vegetables and I say I'm gonna eat them and I let them sit there because I don't wanna cut them. So if I do it now, then I'll be ready for a snack later. You know what I mean? Also just doing these little things to kind of stay organized and also make my life easier. It it really like keeps me in check, like honestly, because just one little thing could like throw me off. I mean like not off the deep, deep end or anything. I'm just saying like, if I have to take an extra step to do something, um, then I'm probably not gonna do it. But if I already did it beforehand, like pack my bags for work. I'm already ready for work. I just gotta wake up and get ready and go. You know what I mean? It's just the little things. And also taking notes, like I've mentioned this in my last one, but like I have my, like my weekly, daily, and monthly calendar. And then I also have like an urgent to-do list and then a to-do list for later. Like basically like a now and later to-do list because like there's just a lot that goes through my head at a thousand miles per hour. Organization and notes um, literally keep me sane. It keeps the structure, especially with me like living alone for so long. I mean, I've lived in these apartments for like four years and I've, I've just, I've always lived alone. So like, I don't know, maybe that's also another reason why, because it's like living alone, you could easily get distracted by others around you because it's like, you don't know how to just like hang out with yourself until you like are constantly hanging out with people and friends. Um, in which I used to do that, but like I don't anymore. It's a blessing to be able to wake up every day and kind of just decide like what you want to do that day. And like being a dancer for five days out of the week, <laughs> uh, like I'm able to do that, but always having it like, if it's always up to me, who knows what I'll do instead of actually doing what is planned or what's good for me, like keeping structure. I hope this is all making sense. Oh my gosh, isn't that so satisfying? I'm so excited. I actually don't know how to really like cut a watermelon. Like I could probably cut it up into like little cubes or like a little slice. I'm gonna try the cubes first and then we'll see because I honestly, like the last time I cut my watermelon, I was a little bit lit. And so I was just like, I was like, actually I ended up cutting it in half and then I just ate it. I literally ate half a watermelon with a spoon because I was lit. So like I cut it in half and I was like, this is fine. And so I just put like tahini on top and I started eating it with a spoon. So. I, I'm gonna try a cube. Not the best, but like not the worst. Um, I did both because honestly that was really tiresome. Like it was kind of tough to cut it up, but whatever, I got it done. Um, also my cucumbers. And yes, I'm using plastic Ziploc baggies. I don't care. I don't even remember the last time I vlogged. Like it's literally like a week later. Um, yeah, it just hasn't been the vibes, but right now I'm actually going to one of my homegirl's house because she has like a whole like, like pretty much like a whole nail salon set up. Um, and I'm going to go get my toes done by her. But first, oh my God, why is this car going so slow? Jesus. Anyway, um, I'm going to pick up champagne first, bitch. Is it rude to just like literally cut someone off in the fucking like... Like, I'm still in my apartment complex. Like, why are you? I'm literally gonna cut them off because you're going a little bit too slow for my likings, bitch. Yo. Yeah. It's giving luxury. It's giving nice ass. <laughs> you standing in the back. <laughs> Make sure to follow her on Instagram. She's honestly so amazing, and I knew she would be. Like, she just recently graduated. And I just knew that she was going to be really talented at this. So yeah, her setup is really cute. Like, just goals. And look at my toes. They came out so good. And I needed it. My toes came out really cute. Um, right now, I am getting ready. Oh, last night, I bartend at night. They called me in to fill in for somebody else. So yeah, it was my second time bartending at night. It actually went really well. Um, yeah. But I'm actually not even tired. Like, I got off at 4 in the morning, and I'm not even tired. But... Right now, I'm gonna go to the beauty supply store and then I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby. So on Friday, I'm actually hosting this event. I don't even really know what it is, but like my manager asked me, you know, if I could like attend. And of course I'm gonna say yes. So I'm doing that on Friday. And then on Saturday, we're having like our Halloween costume party or whatever. So I have to go to the beauty supply store to get like fake hair. Um, and then I got to go to Hobby Lobby. Why? I don't have to go. I'm just going to go get uh, a few accessories for my friends. 
but yeah um i'm just gonna be the folk me costume that i bought like a month or two ago um at first i bought that costume because i was just like oh i love it it's cute like i've always been obsessed with that that like outfit anything with like mini skirts i love but i wasn't gonna wear it as a costume for real i just wanted to have it for fun um but as time went on i never bought another costume which is like very unlike me like i usually have like at least three new ones every year and i'm like really festive but like this year hasn't been that festive so um due to short notice i'm gonna be that i'm using braiding hair for my ponytail for the costume um, i went to hobby lobby after and honestly i could be in here like forever honestly this is how i spent most of the pandemic because this was like one of the stores that was open and they just have so much like fun stuff and the opportunities are endless like you could make jewelry like honestly i could be in here all day like i'm not even joking and like look at these uh calendars i love calendars I already have so many so it's like it's not even necessary um and also tell me why fake plants are expensive like this fake plant over here was like like 70 dollars or something yeah like what's going on that's insane I got these from the beauty supply store. It's just um, braiding hair, but the costume has like a uh, blue and pink hair mixed together like in little ponytails. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then uh, my friend is gonna be a power puff girl. So I'm gonna like glue on some of these little puff thingies on like hair clips, you know? So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I feel like I was gone for a really long time for me to only have like a few items. But also, I could be in Hobby Lobby for hours. Literally, that's what I did during the pandemic when everything was shut down. For whatever reason, Hobby Lobby was still open. So that's where I spent most of my time. They just have so much stuff, you know? My shit. I need, I need a collabo. That's all I'm saying. You want a collab? What is this? What is that? Don't touch it. <laughs> wow. it's, my, it's my microphone. No, I'm just kidding. That's so mean. No, it's you. So this is JT. Oh, wait. Can I say your name? What up? So we've been shopping today, and let's talk about the shopping. Let's talk about it. Because honestly, he bought me some cute stuff. But I was hung over today, and I started drinking at Mi Cocina, like, for funsies. And I was like, hey, what are you doing? And he showed up, and here we are. And it's like six hours later, and here we are. So, yay. What are you doing? Stop making all that noise. You're making so much... Who Good could've... shit. He could have wait. <laughs> he said... He said a, a haul. If I'm not allowed to cuss on your channel, I apologize, but here's some more good you can, stuff. You can, cu you can cuss. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Smells amazing. Good sh good stuff. Uh, hold on. This is total dude spot. Like, dude spot. Okay, done with the dude spot. Now you can oh, go back to her. That was funny. Dude spot. No, when we went into the fucking uh, the hat store, that was hilarious. Poor, what was that dude's name? I don't know. Was it Julio or like what was that dude's name? Josue. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dude was like Jesus. These guys, these guys. I literally don't remember. It was so funny though, because like we were a mess as we are now. Y'all like it? Hold on. Y'all like it? They love. I it. get to be blessed to be on her channel. Just saying. Just saying. Period. He couldn't wait to be featured. No, I'm just kidding. Featured? I'm a feature? Damn! I didn't know! Tag me! <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally fucking like... Please subscribe! Subscribe! How's and, that, how's that margarita? And, and, and this is a, what, what margarita is this? It's a Mambo Taxi. Mambo Taxi, she made me drink like 17 of these. You I actually blame her. ordered all of them. That's a good point. <laughs> you literally ordered all of them. I don't know. Yeah. She's, she's a baller. That's how she rolls. You know, it's cool. Can you, you want to be on my channel? Sure. Yay. Get that hat in. Get that hat in. Oh, he wants the hat. That badass hat. What's your channel? Okay, so yesterday was hilarious. Um, that's actually one of my friends that I met from the strip club. And I'm considering him a friend now because we hung out and we had the best time ever like seriously so much fun it was ridiculous like we are we are ridiculous like i'm gonna show you what i bought yesterday i'm actually getting ready for this event that i'm going to tonight like that i'm a part of um i need to get ready but i'm just so distracted so 
let me first tell you before i show you what i bought we went to hot topic and for whatever reason the dressing room was closed but like you know after a few margaritas i was feeling spicy and so i was like can i try on these pants and they were like no the dressing room is closed i was like no worries i was like i'll just try them on right here i literally took off my sweatpants and tried on the pants in hot topic like in the middle of the store i'm literally wearing my thong just my thong and my shirt in the middle of hot topic so drunk purchases are so funny though because it's like why did i buy plaid pants i mean they're really cute though like yeah i mean they were only 20 dollars too so i was like yeah i love plaid pants <laughs> and then he bought me this from spencer's this is like his favorite color so obviously i'm gonna wear it at the club it's really freaking cute really cute and then he also bought me this purse from spencer's um it's like a playboy purse oh my gosh i'm obsessed with this i think it's so freaking cute i'm actually gonna wear this tonight with the outfit that i'm wearing which i'll also show you i couldn't decide which dress i liked better so i just got both of them but it's this maroon silky dress how do i get wrinkles out of silk i'm kind of like scared to i don't know whatever we'll figure it out and then I also got this silky blue one. So freaking cute. I actually have something kind of like this, but um, it doesn't fit anymore. So now I have this one. And then these are the shoes I'm wearing tonight. They are from Jeffrey Campbell. They say, not your bitch. I think they're gonna go so freaking cute with the Playboy purse. Um, it's really cold in Dallas right now. So that sucks, but we're gonna push it through. This is actually really cute. And the fact that it's a hookah lounge, that's BYOB. That's actually my favorite. I'm like, I wasn't even expecting this. This is really cute. I'm also really early. Say hi. Hi, being beautiful. Hi. Hey, what's up? This is actually one of our DJs um, for after hours at Bucks Wild. Yeah, he's also working the event tonight, go. so. He said, let's go. <laughs> like, where are we going? 